Him. It is a her? Him. Him. Look at him go. <laughs> Welcome to Monty's Alice. If you're not aware, I lived there for about three months and there's so oh, at least a dozen videos going around Monty's Alice. And while I tell you a little about Monty's Alice and this trip that I made, uh, take a look at this cathedral. This is a cathedral of Monty's Alice. It holds about 5,000 people and has the tallest spire in all of Colombia. In fact, it's the third tallest in Latin America. Manizales was founded by 20 people in 1849. The journey that they made from Salamina up these mountains to find this location uh, to settle down was amazing. It was extremely difficult. Uh, they were primarily, they were white Spanish heritage and until the universities uh, came along in Manizales, uh, uh, that's when it was integrated with some e ethnic groups. The city has been built with earthquakes in mind. Uh, there are tremors. There's never been a big earthquake um, that I could find that's ever done any real damage there, but from the very beginning, there was always a mine to uh, build for earthquakes. Nearby is a volcano. Nevado de Ruiz. It's 17 and a half thousand feet tall and the city itself is about 7,100 feet tall. Everyone's interested in climate, everyone's interested in temperature, so what I'll say is the record high in Manizales ever since they recorded is 89 degrees but the average normal high is 70 degrees. The average low is 54. The absolute record low is 34. So if you, you know, keep records for a couple hundred years, you're gonna get at your occasional hot day, but for the most part, you're gonna live around the 70s there. It does rain a fair amount. It rains, um, well, as they say 229 days out of a 365 day year. That's a lot. I mean, that's Northwest uh, United States area. However, what it doesn't have is what the Northwest United States has. It doesn't have constant overcast cloudy days. You may get rain every day, but you get sun pretty much every day. I mean, there's a few days here and there, but for the most part, it rains a little bit and then it's over. Uh, you do get your occasional, you know, rains for the day, but it's livable. It's certainly um, a workable situation. One thing I find very depressing is if you don't see the sun for months at a time, but you can get in the northeast, northwest of the United States, and you won't find that here. As a matter of fact, on this trip, I get a pretty good sunburn. That uh, was my own thoughtlessness, carelessness. I knew better, um, but I went ahead anyway and went out walking for hours and and just kind of forgot that that sun was going to jump out there. And it can be pretty, pretty fierce when you're at that altitude down near the equator. So I met up with my friend Mark in, in Pereira and we took a bus up here. Uh, with Juliana to show him around Manizales. What I didn't realize is that he's sight impaired and he has a, a walking cane, but it didn't really change anything. He could get enough light. He could, it, he's had his whole life like that. So he knows how to adjust and compensate for it. So we started out in the Zona Rosa Cable area. And it's just a, it's just beautiful area, beautiful barrios. You can see the four-lane road with palm trees growing up out of them. 
there's all kinds of little cafes and restaurants and bakeries. It's uh, a very pleasant place. Of course, you've got Domino's Pizza. you got to have that everywhere. But what really surprised me is uh, you also have a Papa John's Pizza right next to the beer station. How convenient. So we're out walking around, and I'm stopping and taking pictures. And why am I narrating this? I'm narrating it because the sound was hit and miss. In some clips it came out really well and other clips didn't come out at all or it was scratchy it's an issue with the camera so I've got a new one on the way uh, thanks to the contributions of the viewers of this channel so what we're looking at is this tower this is the old cable tower there was a time when there was a cable that could go to the adjacent mountain uh, cable car and they would do some mining over there and it would go back and forth now that was taken down some years ago but the pow the tower still remains as a landmark and of course this is the Zona Rosa Cable Mall uh, or Cable Mall and this near where I lived I used to walk down to this mall and do my shopping in the uh, Caruja Supermercado so it's kind of busy down here. It's very modern, very nice mall. It's four or five stories tall. And here you've got this gorgeous view looking out uh, the window of the cafe in the mall of the nearby uh, mountainside. And you're also looking down on a barrio uh, that's called Alto Suisse. You can see here a uh, building going up. You see that like in Armenia, you see it all over the place. And it's tropical flowers and palm trees. It's just a it's just a beautiful place. I will have to say that in my opinion, Manizales is probably the most beautiful city in all of Colombia. That's my opinion. I also think the uh, temperature is probably the most comfortable, perfect temperature in all of Colombia. Now why don't I live there? Well I've explained this many times in other videos. If I didn't live in Armenia then I, I would live in, Ar in Manizales, but I have my own personal reasons for being in Armenia and I absolutely love it there. In this building here, this is a kind of a plaza, there's all kinds of stores in there and my apartment was right behind that long building. And this is right next to it. This is a uh, tall building here, or sort of tall, medium building. This is an apartment building, and I knew somebody that lived there. And so we're just kind of walking and walking, and notice that umbrella that was out. The sun was starting to, starting to hit, and it wasn't long after that when it really came bearing down on us. Now this is the next day and this is down on the corner from the hotel. Uh, nice little fruit stand. Bought some maracuya and we just decided to walk around this area a little bit. In the the object of us walking around here, uh, you see my my camera was out of adjustment and I was doing that fisheye thing, which I got it adjusted up here. The object was to walk to the apartment that my friend Mark was going to be staying at after the hotel. He was moving into an Airbnb for about 30 days. And that was going to it's going to be his home base for a while. So it wasn't too far. It was maybe 12, 15 blocks. We decided let's walk over there. We can walk through the neighborhood, we can see what it's like. And it was a, you know, just typical neighborhood. We'd go through this one area, it was all motorcycle repair shops and sales, and it was all uh, car repairs. And we came along this park here, and it's just a very nice park. Has had a couple, uh, had a place for lunch, and it had a coffee shop. Uh, right there, you can see it. It was just a very... Uh, pleasant park and going around it are various roads uh, that can come together and of course you have to do the welcome money's Alice sign 
Now, after we saw the apartment, it was, let's walk up to see the monument, the founders that I mentioned, the 20 people that struggled. So here you can just see the vista of what, you know, what they had to climb up and around and over. And uh, Mark is a is a runner, and one of the things he was interested in is, is there any place I can go out five in the morning and run? And I'm standing, if you take a look at the sidewalk, and this goes all the way from the apartment, which is on the left side of the street there, all the way up to this park, uh, which we're now looking at, the Founders Park, or Chipre, it's actually called. And he could, he could run, oh, it's maybe a mile or so, uh, or maybe less, I'm not sure. And uh, he could certainly run. The sidewalk is in great shape. Stunning views, and what the camera doesn't pick up on is a nice cool breeze that comes up uh, when you're up on top of the mountain. You get these cool breezes. But here you got this statue, <coughs> which is multiple statues to represent this climbing up the mountain, the struggle. This guy looks like Teddy Roosevelt, but you, you can see in these statues, they're kind of rough and rugged people. And they're dragging up, you know, all the things they would need to get started, the tools and uh, various implements and big barrels. It was, uh, it's quite a, quite a statue or a group of statues. So now we're walking back down and we decided to get an orange juice. And this guy, I mean, look how fast he is going. Look at her go. Him. It is a her? Him. Him. Look at him go. <laughs> I heard the voice, but uh, all I can tell is... And you got some kiosk here with coffee and you can grab a sandwich. There's a few different things there that are most often are set up. And this is just looking down from that very place. I'm standing right behind me as the orange juice. I'm just kind of looking down. So we're walking back towards his apartment. And um, what I didn't show earlier, it's, it's just this kind of elongated park. It's got a couple playgrounds here. There's, there's a nice uh, water fountain. On this stretch, we're just walking back uh, to the apartment after taking the video clips of the church and the, and the um, Bolivar statue, which I'll mention in another video. And then we decided to go to a different mall uh, looking, looking for something. So that's our trip to Manizales. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you get a chance to see it.